Hi and welcome to the Doctor is In. As this is the first episode of this series, I will shortly explain you two things. The first point is, I will never read out the data sheets of the things I'll review. I will put it as a graphic somewhere on the video so you can pause it for yourself, read it or just ignore it. The second thing is, I will focus on my opinion and my opinion only because I think music is such a personal thing that it just doesn't make any sense to try to do some neutral review. And I will also mostly do demos and sound samples because I think talking about gear is not as effective as just hearing it. <clears throat> the first guest is the D'Angelico EXSS in black with gold hardware. Um, I had it for quite a while now, although it's a review guitar, it's not mine. I used it on several tracks. If you want to check them out, I will put a link somewhere or at the end of the video, I don't know. Most of the time what you notice first about a guitar is the looks and I think D'Angelico did a great job on this one. All these little design elements coming together nicely looks absolutely amazing. Before you even play the first note you will notice the feel of a guitar. This one's extremely lightweight. The neck is clearly the heaviest part of this guitar but it's still well balanced on the strap. Doing nothing to adjust the position and it still hangs there. Let's talk about the neck next. Um, the Angelico claims it to be a C shape. I will say it's a well-rounded D. It feels great no matter what it is in the end. It's slightly wider than what I'm used to which is great to me because there's a little bit more space to put your fingers and my fingers are short but little sausages so I have to have some space. Overall this guitar handles extremely well. I love the, the neck, I love the, the position where your hand ends if you play it standing or sitting. The only thing I would um, really complain about is the position of these three things. The toggle switch, the volume knob for the bridge pickup and this extension of the pickguard. Because if you try to reach the volume knob of the bridge pickup you will sometimes end up just turning this extension and then nothing will happen, obviously. Sometimes you will get your finger stuck somewhere around here if you just try to, to change pickups and yeah. It looks nice but it's a little bit weird in terms of um, positioning and reaching the things you want to reach. One small note before I start with the samples, I usually use really fat strings, 13 to 56 on regular tuning. These are still the factory strings, 10 to 46 I guess, which are really soft and feel really weird to me. I have to play really soft and you can hear that, I promise you.
So my final verdict about the D'Angelico EXSS is, it's a very versatile guitar. It looks quite like a genre guitar, but you can use it for anything you want. Um, it feels absolutely amazing, it handles absolutely amazing, it sounds great in, under any conditions. So, what's left to say is, I can really recommend this guitar. Go check it out. I hope to see you soon. Bye! <coughs>